Let's start with the basics and see how to move forward. The harder you press, the faster you pedal. But watch out, your yellow energy will also decrease faster. Now we'll check the workings of your gear ratios. With the high gear ratio, you can go even faster. A high gear ratio allows you to increase your effort and ride faster. Use it when you want to increase the distance between yourself and other riders, or when the pace of the race is high. Let's look at attacking. To attack or follow an attack, you must ride out of the saddle, which consumes your red energy. Don't forget that if your red bar is empty, you can no longer attack. To fill it, ride slowly. The high gear ratio allows you to make more powerful attacks. Now, take a careful look at the wind. Since the start it has been a headwind, we'll soon turn left and so take the wind from the side. It's best to have five riders between you and the oncoming wind so that you are protected and save energy. If you are very poorly protected, the protection icon will blink. Let's talk about feeds. Before each stage, you can choose two feeds. They allow you to recover some energy during the race. Choose your feeds according to the race strategy you intend to adopt for the stage. Red to attack, or yellow to ride for longer, for example. We are approaching the feed zone. Your second feed will become available here. If you have not used your first feed before the end of this zone, it will be lost. The feed zone is generally located in the middle of a stage. This is a factor to be taken into account when you choose your feeds before the stage. We'll soon attack a small climb. If you want to know the exact slope, you can look at the percentage. At 6% and above, it's getting serious, and good climbing attributes are required to play a leading role. Let's have a look at management of effort and energy. I'll ask you to empty your yellow energy bar in order to test the effects of a blow-up. Of course, during a race, it's best to avoid a blow-up. But if it does happen, you should reduce effort to a minimum in order to recover more quickly.
We're into the descent. You can recover, but you must stay focused to follow the right trajectory and to brake at the right time. If the trajectory is red, it means that you're going too fast and you're likely to fall. You must use your brakes wisely to avoid having to brake hard, and then waste energy by having to accelerate again. When you see long downhill straights, you can stop pedaling and put yourself in an aerodynamic position. If the slope is steep enough, you can pick up some speed. This position is very effective on downhill slopes of over 6%, because you move at the same speed as if you were pedaling, and moreover, you recover energy. If you're uncomfortable on descents or in technical sections, you can sit behind another rider and follow him. He will serve as your locomotive. But watch out, because in auto mode, you cannot follow a rider who attacks or sprints. You must also be careful because your energy decreases even in auto mode. If you're uncomfortable on descents or in technical sections, you can sit behind another rider and follow him. He will serve as your locomotive. But watch out, because in auto mode, you cannot follow a rider who attacks or sprints. You must also be careful because your energy decreases even in auto mode. If you're uncomfortable on descents or in technical sections, you can sit behind another rider and follow him. He will serve as your locomotive. But watch out, because in auto mode, you cannot follow a rider who attacks or sprints. You must also be careful because your energy decreases even in auto mode. If you're uncomfortable on descents or in technical sections, you can sit behind another rider and follow him. He will serve as your locomotive. But watch out, because in auto mode, you cannot follow a rider who attacks or sprints. You must also be careful because your energy decreases even in auto mode. We're almost finished. We just have to check that your team comm is working okay. It is a very important tool that allows you to give instructions to all your team riders. When you use it, auto mode is enabled. I'd advise you to have a look at the manual to get a description of each instruction. We're almost finished. We just have to check that your team comm is working okay. It is a very important tool that allows you to give instructions to all your team riders. When you use it, auto mode is enabled. I'd advise you to have a look at the manual to get a description of each instruction. We're almost finished. We just have to check that your team okay, comm is working okay. It is a very important tool that allows you to give instructions to all your team riders. When you use it, auto mode is enabled. I'd advise you to have a look at the manual to get a description of each instruction. Okay, I'll put in a big acceleration. Team comm also allows you to take control of another team rider. When the team comm menu is open, you can change rider when you want. Changing rider will always let you be at the heart of the action. For example, if your current rider is too tired, you can swap to control a rider who has more energy. Perfect. You are ready for the tour. If you want to develop certain...
Hello everyone, those thinking of victory in Sheffield, a city with a rich engineering heritage, will certainly need legs of steel. The furnaces will want to be well stoked when whole moss is reached and the climbing continues almost all the way to the line. 3,400 metres of vertical gain, concentrated for the most part in the final 30 kilometres. A true English style Liège, Bascon, Liège. He was itching to have a go. He's already on the attack. A counter-attack already. His teammates are riding hard. Surely to catch up the counter-attack and avoid having too many guys in front. Breakaway didn't get far. Watch out for counter moves. Attack! Watch out! You'll soon have no more energy for an attack. He's attempting to get out of the peloton.
counter attack. Break away over. Attack. Counter attack. Counter attack. Attack! Counter attack. Peloton is riding hard. Stay well placed. Use the high gear ratio when the tempo of the race picks up. The rest of the time, use the small gear ratio so as not to strain yourself. Breakaway riders are increasing the gap. They are not dangerous for the overall standings. We can let them go. The breakaway has 30 seconds lead. You're over revving. Reduce the tempo or you'll pay the price. The Keck Skill Climb is approaching. It's the first of the day. Classified as fourth category, there's one point to be had at the top. The first summit is not difficult and it will allow riders to warm up for the rest of the stage. The race is won as a team. If your rider doesn't have enough energy to break away early in the stage, don't hesitate to use Team Com to ask teammates to attack or to change the rider.
counterattack. King of the Mountain sprint in two kilometers for the breakaway group. His teammates are riding hard, surely to catch up the counterattack and avoid having too many guys in front. Here's the positions over the last climb. The gap is decreasing. The peloton is not given up. doesn't intend to let you go. There are too many of you. Attack if you want a chance to get away. They're riding hard behind. This isn't the moment to relax. One minute for the breakaway. It's looking good. The peloton is starting to ride behind him. It looks like he doesn't want yet another rider at the head of the race. He could be labelled as a puncher, but is also good in the mountains. However, his top speeds can be described as lethargic. Watch out for him. He's a real puncher who can come out on top on any finish with a short climb. But he can also rely on a good turn of speed if there's a group finish.
He especially excels in time trials, his specialty.